hi guys hope you're all okay today i have a small emma bridgewater haul to share with you um i have to be completely honest about this one um i could just say oh yeah this is a recent order that would be a lie um i am recording this it is the first of april this isn't an april fools um i ordered this in january And it's April 1st today when I'm recording it. And, and basically, uh, <laughs> I did an order in the sale. Um, it's all tins. Luckily, I was adding to my tin collection. If you don't know, I quite have a, a like for nice tins. And Emma Bridgewater fills that requirement for me. Um, but I normally buy them in the sale because they, you know, they're just tins. I very much love it when you pick one up in a charity shop um but i digress so yeah i placed this order back in january and i had an issue with the delivery um we live in cornwall and we live in a village and our property is kind of like halfway up a silly hill and we have issues with delivery drivers and sometimes royal mail making it up the hill and yeah <laughs> and it doesn't matter if it's royal mail or every every never come to our house um there always there always seems to be an issue and it's because we're in the end of nowhere and it's village life i guess um so there was issues and then um i think there was one time they tried to deliver it and they couldn't find my house and there was another or they said um property unfound and then there was another issue where they said there was nobody home but it was a day that i definitely was home um, and yeah, there was just issues and I had to fill out the form and the actual people at Emma Bridgewater were really lovely and were really helpful and, um, but it had to go back to them and then be re-delivered to John's work or John's, one of John's works, um, the post office. Um, and obviously that took time and then when it was delivered, um, we were all, well, we, John, um, John was fine. Ruben and I all had the dreaded lurgy. We were so poorly. Um, and if you've ever ordered from Emma Bridgewater, Emma Bridgewater, if you've ever ordered from Emma Bridgewater, it does tend to come in these beautiful, great big boxes. Um, and because we were all gross and like I was in between being ill, disinfecting everything, I didn't want anything new coming into the house. Um, and John put it in the garage. As instructed, not John's fault, this is my request. And I forgot. And we all forgot. Um, until John got these two decorations out the other day. Of the garage. And um, found them. So yes. And it will become appear why I have to tell you the story. When I show you the first item. Because the first item I bought was a Christmas decoration for next year. Well, for this year. Um, but yeah. A lovely tin... I love these, they're great little gifts as well because you can put a little present in there or a bit of tissue paper and a pair of earrings, wouldn't that be darling as a present for a friend? Um, but yeah, it's a Christmas decoration. I'm recording this the 1st of April, crazy. Um, and then I got this really cute, um, if I was a true fan, I'd know the names of the patterns. The dog print one that's in the rainbow colors. I very much like the polka dots in the rainbow colors I have. This is a battered old one that I got from a charity shop. This is what has our chocolate biscuits in. By the moment it's got Easter eggs in, but yeah. But I love the colours and everything. It's got that one. And then I got the same size in the stitch one. And then we already have this one. Um that's by the door that we've just chucked loose change in but john is a self-employed person we have receipts all over our house and this was in the sale and like yeah receipts there we go um a 2024 diary it's the first of april you know this would have made sense in january but it's still you know we've still got a lot of the year left it's fine i love the bumblebee print it's so adorable uh, and the big one, uh, again with the rainbow, rainbow toast. What does it say on all of them? So that's the crafting print. 
um, polka dot paws. Only I was clever enough to read the back of the pack. Uh, that's just called Bumblebee. Rainbow Toast. And the big one. It's also Rainbow Toast. Uh, keepsakes, precious memories, photographs and photographs, love and laughter. I love a pretty storage tin. It might have cupcakes in. It might have junk shoved in it. We won't know. But yeah, that is my forgotten Emma Bridgewater haul. <laughs> if you've not enjoyed the items, maybe it made you chuckle that, you know, I forgot that I done had this stuff. Right. Now to find homes for it and make sure they're all useful and they're not wasted anymore because things is pretty need to be used. Um, you take care, guys, and I will talk to you in the next one.